I am super excited. Today, I went dumpster diving <laughs> and I got me a new scripture. I'm going to use these along with my tarot card readings if I can open them. Always glad for a new pair of scriptures. Put my name in it. to who this belongs to. If you want to find me on Instagram, that's how you find me. Or Halaven Butterfly, which is where you're on today. Oh, and these are the pens that I've been making. Aren't they cute? Make great cat toys, too. Okay. So, let's get our cards out and shuffle our cards. Uh oh, I got wax on my thing. Ah. I've already shuffled these several times, so I'm not too worried about it. So this is going to be a pick a card deck. Aha! Some of those wanted to jump out. Oh, I got some of these backwards. Poo. move my table because my husband has taken over now that we've got a new TV. <laughs> now I'm going to shuffle these real quick. These are the cards I made. I spray painted. I made them myself. Whoa, hey. Goodness. Those wanted to jump right out there, didn't they? Uh, I'm using the Fairy Tarot Valentine set. I'm using Uno cards that I made myself, see? And then I've got another set, but I don't have the set right here by me. And then I'm also using Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I will pull those out in a minute. So I want you to close your eyes and imagine. What number do you see? One, two, three, or four? Okay, so this is going to be my first one. 
And we want to cleanse my area. This is a potion I made. See? Kind of cleanse the area a little bit. And then we want to put some smelly stuff out. Heat up my bottle. And these are mixtures that you can find on my channel. Okay, so if you pick deck number one, let's go ahead and open these. Actually, let's move these right here. Okay. Pentacles. Actually, let's read that in reverse. And then we got a club friend, a cousin, and a church friend. Okay, so right off the bat, what I see with this is I'm seeing a woman or a man that has many suitors. Maybe a man with many suitors, or maybe you're a woman with many suitors. I see two male suitors. If you're a man, I see one, two, three, four, four suitors. I see a woman of color, absolutely gorgeous. I see a woman that's overloaded in her work. I see someone who wants to play around, somebody who's swinging, and I see somebody who's very musically inclined, possibly with a harp or with a piano. Somebody is very musically inclined because I see club. Somebody may be wanting you to go out and work in music if you're very talented in that, as in clarinet or a saxophone. Anything with strings like um, a guitar, possibly a uh, drum set, um, like I said, piano. Somebody is very, very talented and people are seeing how talented you are. And I'm seeing a lot of love suitors here. And I'm going to make these readings fairly quick just because I know people have a lot to get done throughout their day. But what I'm seeing here is this person who has suit, this person who is playing, you're playing too much when you have a lot of things in your home you need to be getting done, like you need to be doing laundry or your work is piling up is what I'm sensing. Uh, I feel like there's an old romance that has died or a friend and I feel like there's somebody who's guarding after you. I feel like it's a father who's guarding his daughter He's wanting the best for you and he's wanting you to stop playing so much and to get serious and get back to work. I see the will of fortune. Somebody is constantly thinking about you. I think they're driving past your house. They're watching you play and they're jealous. I feel like whoever this is that's going to be playing, you have a lot of people that are watching out for you. Some of them that love you. Some of them are jealous of your freedom and your love. And maybe there's somebody who's worried that maybe their spouse is looking at you. So make sure you don't ever come between somebody else's relationship because that karma is just no good. I had that happen with me and 
I can only imagine the karma that's going to hit the person that did that to me. So, but, you know, to each its own, when you do stuff like that, it's going to come back to you. So make sure whoever you're looking at is not married. Because the worst thing you can ever do is come between a, a true relationship, a love relationship. Remember, whatever you put out there comes back ten times fold. So make sure you're being true and honest in your relationship if you're married. You know, everybody has multiple soulmates. Like, I know I've got a few different soulmates. And I know people that are chasing after me. But what they don't realize is I'm loyal. Even during the roughest times of my marriage, I wouldn't walk. And you need to realize you can't just walk away. You've got to be staying grounded to... You know, doing your dishes, which I've got to go get my dishes done. And laundry, you need to be picking up your clothes, making sure that your parents aren't picking up after you. And I feel like there's a church friend that really, really, you had a falling out with. But this person doesn't want this relationship to die. They're wanting to come towards you. They're wanting to tell you how much they like you. Spike, quit. Uh, maybe you need to be doing a cleansing, a sage around your area. And whoever this is, it's musically inclined. I see the will of fortune. It is like, wow. Whoever's got this talent, whether it be singing or whether it being um, piano, you were very, very talented. It's like you can play music by ear. You've got this gift to read music when you've never been taught music. You have gifts that you have not tapped into. And if you can tap into those energies and sit down and focus on those energies, they will bring you wealth and prosperity and a lot of fortune. I mean, I'm seeing like an overabundance of fortune for you. And that's what I see with this reading. So, wow, wow, and wow. Because you've got a lot of suitors here. There's people that like your daughter if you're male or if you're a mother. You have people that are looking at your child and they look at you and they see how gorgeous you are and they're thinking, oh wow, her daughter's going to be a knockout. Where's she at? Can I date her? So just be forewarned, sometimes when people are looking at you as the wife, they're thinking, wow, if that's what she looks like, I can only imagine what her daughter looks like. Because if you see a husband and a wife that are gorgeous you know dang well that their kids are going to be gorgeous. And men, they a lot of the times they will look at the mother and they will look at the father. And if their parents are gorgeous, they will be gorgeous too. And if they've got be beauty inner strength, they're going to have beauty outer strength as well. Like my children are extremely, extremely strong people. And they are going to be gorgeous. They'll be lucky to whoever they're going to be with. You got the Chariot, the Eight of Springs, the Nine of Winners. The four, Oh, this is number two deck, by the way. I got into this a little quicker. The Four of Autumn and the Seven of Summers. So if you pick deck number two, this is your card. And I see romance very quickly. Make sure that your children aren't dating too much because I sense the same situation here. Somebody's pregnant or wishing they could be pregnant. Maybe the tables are being turned. Maybe you're surrounding yourself with pregnant women or you're hoping for a child. Or maybe somebody just needs a baby fix. That's what I need. I need a baby fix. I need a baby to snuggle and mug and love. Yes, I do. I have a neighbor that's getting ready to have a baby. And I am so excited to see her little boy's twinkle toes. <laughs> I cannot wait. I love the laughter of children. There is not any more joy in this world than you can get from a child's laughter. Oh my gosh. And I see a pregnancy or a wanting pregnancy. Uh, somebody is not sleeping. Okay, there's an authority figure that likes you that's fair. And they like you even though you're married. Oh my goodness. So somebody is losing sleep over this. Somebody can see that maybe you don't have a real deep connection with whoever it is you're with and what relationship. And somebody's wanting to step between. Somebody's wanting to come towards you with your feelings and 
you have a twin flame connection with this person and this person is fantasizing about giving you a child what you can't see is this person is deeply 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 in love with you they watch your social media they watch if you have a youtube channel they watch that they have photos of you that they've got stashed away somewhere that they pull out that they treasure because the side of you just brings to them so much overly joy and love and laughter. I mean, and they're just going crazy, just going crazy without you. And they want to tell you so bad, but maybe they're shy. I see that they're coming towards you and they want to tell you because they want to, they see maybe you're not in a good relationship and they want to better that. They want to fix everything for you. They want to be your protector. They want to be your confidant. They want to be here forever. Oh my gosh. Somebody is so, so in love that you guys are having like telepathy dreams. Like you are dreaming of each other and you are both so head over heels for each other. You don't even know what to do. And I feel like there may be an ending in sight, possibly even a death. If there's a death in sight, this person's going to swoop in and swoop you off your feet. And it's going to be a love like no other. And whoever this is, is an authority figure. Whether it's a boss or whether it's an officer or whether it's just whoever is an authority figure in your life. Maybe it's a dad's friend that is looking out for his daughter. And I see the mother protecting her. She's like, nope, you are not old enough to date. I don't think so. Don't even think about it. <laughs> And that's what I get with this love ring. That's actually kind of fun. Okay, so let's go on to number three. I'm not using my Yu-Gi-Oh cards. You're right. <laughs> I kind of forgot. <laughs> I'm human. <laughs> You'll get over it. Okay. The Princess of Winners. The Ace of Spring. The Sun. The Queen of Summers make room for these the queen of winter and the queen of or seven of winters somebody likes winter and they're out playing in the snow the holy priestess in reverse the father and pentacles reverse the father in reverse the ace of wands in reverse broken dreams and shatters oh no so this is a neighbor coming towards you. Somebody who used to be a friend. I feel like you have one secret admirer and this person did you wrong. They're watching every move that you make. They're watching everything that you do. And they want your downfall because they're so mad that they can't be with you. They are so jealous because this person definitely did you wrong, but they're ashamed of what they did, but they don't know how to come forward and tell you. And this is definitely somebody in your community. Somebody's wanting to come towards you. This is a neighbor, somebody who was really rude to you that they're like, no, you're not my neighbor. No, you're not my friend. Blah, 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 blah. All sorts of crap like that. Who would want to be like that? I mean, really? I mean, I can appreciate somebody who can stand their ground and say what they say, but I have absolutely no respect for somebody who harps down on people and tries to belittle them. To me, that just tells me that person is insecure and whiny and moany, and that's something that I would never want to be like, and you don't ever want to be that person. If that's a lower vibration, and if you are of a lower vibration, then please stay away from me. I like to keep my vibration high, I like happiness, peace. You know, if you've ever done me wrong, I will forgive you. Just come talk to me. If I've ever done you wrong, come to me and I will apologize to you. But there's some circumstances that you can't. And somebody's wanting to come to you to apologize. But they don't know how you're going to take it. I have a feeling this person's going to show up on your doorstep. And you're just going to be like, how dare you? I do not want you in my world. You are not the kind of person I want in. But at the same point, you don't want to be of that lower vibration. So maybe if they come, you can just say, look, 
I forgive you because I need the forgiveness myself and I need to move on. But what you did was wrong and I cannot have you in my world. So even though I forgive you, I'm releasing you with that, but you need to go find new friends because you are not what I want in my world. I see a new beginning with somebody who had shattered your dreams. So I feel like somebody wrongs somebody in a very, very deeply, deeply wounded way. And they're wanting to come back and apologize, but they're doing it selfishly. And, oh, hold on. Oh, sorry, I had a text. Um, because of that, you just need to tell them, say, look, I forgive you, but I can't have you in my world. I do not trust you. And there's nothing you can do to repair that trust. Now, I'm going to let this go, but please don't ever darken my doorstep ever again. And that's just what you need to tell people. And that's what I get with this. I've had somebody that's done me wrong pretty bad, but I don't think they'll ever admit it. Hold on. I want to light another candle here. I've got some wax I need to get traded around here, so... Give me just a moment. sage going. Should have my sneezy kneesies here in a minute <laughs> since I'm allergic to sage, but damn, I love the smell of it. My kitty wants inside the house. Okay. We've got a nine of summers, a prince of autumn, seven of autumn, the three of autumn, the six of summers, and the king of spring. Childlike energy. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the death card. We're going to have to elaborate on that. Okay, so this is saying that you have a crush. And this looks like there's many suitors. There's somebody that's in his 50s, somebody that's in his 20s, somebody's in his 40s, and you have a couple childlike energies. Like little boys are like looking at you through the fence. They're like, oh my gosh, look at that. That's such a milf. Oh my gosh, <laughs> you could be my daughter's boyfriend. Don't think so. <laughs> um, I see a legal, ent uh, legal entanglement in this one. And it says that, you know, right now, Maybe you're not talking to your brother or something's going on with your brother. And maybe he's waiting for you for the communication. Um, also, I see a crush here. Somebody is wishing and hoping and manifesting that you come into their life. I want to clarify that death card, though. Please clarify the death. Lovers. So, somebody that you love... It's either going to die in a relationship or romance, or that death is going to come the daughter, the fool. That has to do with the legal entanglement and the empress. So, I sense an ending to a relationship. I feel like it's a legal entanglement, something with your daughter. I feel like the grandma had come over to smooth it over. That's where it had been in the past. They can feel the tension. They can feel the anger and the anxiety. And there's something with little boys that really just kind of broke your heart. I don't know if it was children playing in an inappropriate way or what. Or a sister and brother playing inappropriately. But something just crushed your world. I'm seeing that, you know, there was a lot of darkness. Maybe they had been taught inappropriate things by another adult that had harassed or sexually harassed them. But I feel like there's a new beginning. And I feel like 
whatever happened to them, they need to know that it wasn't their fault. Because when somebody is a predator, you have to realize that person was once a child too that was abused themselves. And that's how you have to look at the situation. And when they abuse other people, especially children, you have to realize that person was abused themselves. The name Colin is coming to mind and that has a deep resonation for me. Um, I don't want to go into that. Anyways, all I have to say is whatever you put out there is going to come back to you 10 times fold. And I have a feeling that eventually that person will be put in jail. So this is kind of a hard one for me to read. So I'm not going to elaborate on this too much, but you need to watch out for your kids. Make sure that there's not something going on with a brother or a cousin. Make sure that nobody can hurt your family. Protect your kids. Be a helicopter mom. Everybody says don't be a helicopter mom. But as far as I'm concerned, helicopter moms are the best. You know, you have to be knowing what your kids are doing. You have to know where your kids are going. Maybe some of you have adult daughters that have been out prostituting and you don't even know it. Or riding with old men sneaking out the window you got to realize there are predators everywhere you go. I had stuff like that happen to me when I was a little girl. Hold on. I'm going to move my camera this way. When I was a little girl, I had a lot of predators in a small little town that I was in. And you would not believe how many predators were after me as a little girl. I mean, I remember doing a strip tease for a woman and a bunch of construction workers when I was 12 years old. I was molested at age three. Um, I've had a lot of bad karma, but things are turning around for me and I'm grateful for the trials that I've been through because they made me stronger to who I am. And to all those people that harmed me and all the things that they had done to me, just know that I forgive you I mean, I'm one of those people, I lost my virginity at age 15 to a return missionary. It's why I've never really trusted people in the church. It's why I'm just like, nah, y'all, you know, you're all just sinners in the closet. But what I need to realize is you can't judge the church by the people. You have to judge it by the teachings. Like, I was born and raised LDS. And I know they're not big into Wicca and witchcraft, but as far as I'm concerned, Jesus was a magician. It talks about in the Lost Book of Thomas. And I have the knowledge of the Lost Ten Tribes. It's why I wear this. I want to end this off with a scripture reading. Let's flip through this, my new Bible. Yay, my best friend. I love my Bible. Okay, what comes of this? Let's see. Second Chronicles 34 through 10. We're going to go to 19. As soon as the king heard word of the law, he ripped his garments apart. And then the king gave the order to Kale, a Kalim, I can't say that, son of Serfim, Adamdam, and the son of Merakai, Stephan, and uh, secretary Ashim, the king of servants, go inquire Jehovah in my behalf and the behalf of those who remain in Israel and to Judah concerning the words of the books that had been found, Jehovah's range will be great, poured out against us in a great be or in great because of the forefathers did not carry out the word of Jehovah by observing all that is written in the book. Now, Jehovah is another name for God or Jesus, as well as the name Ra. I say, Ra. It's another way of saying Jesus, like, I call upon you. Jesus, you are my Christ. I love you, and I think of you always. It's you that protects me. It's you that I work through. When I do my Wicca, I'm kind of like Glenda the Good Witch. I'm the one that, you know, I cast spells for love, light, and prosperity. Because I hope everyone gets the good karma that they put out there. The bad karma, it's just going to happen to you. Just like it did to me. 
but don't worry about it because guess what? You do good service and good wills and it will always come back to you 10 times fold. Now, if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you always get notifications of when I do readings. And if you are somebody who has already subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. You guys are all dolls. I love you very much and we will talk to you all later. Bye.